The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. I've been getting a lot of questions about what is next for The David Pakman Show after the election. We have a lot of ideas in mind, but really what we need is to continue growing our membership support. We've got a 10, 20, 30 great ideas about things we could do. Being able to do them is going to depend on membership support. So please consider, especially now that the political contributions are dying down, becoming a David Pakman Show member. Go to davidpakman.com slash membership. We're talking about pennies a day. And membership really is how we can continue to grow and expand the show. Brian Mulligan is this bank executive who told police officers that he used bath salts, according to what police are saying. He was badly injured by two LAPD officers, and he's a top Deutsche Bank executive. He alleged that police manufactured a report that he was snarling and thrashing and uh, told the officers that he had ingested bath salts. He's, den- he's saying that the uh, entire report was manufactured. Uh, days before that confrontation with police officers, though, it's now being revealed that he apparently told another officer in a completely different city a story very similar to that, saying he had previously snorted white lightning, a type of bath salts, and that he believed a helicopter had been trailing him. That always reminds me of... Uh, Goodfellas, the helicopter trailing people. That's according to a Glendale police recording of the conversation. He said, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like there are people watching me. I feel like there was a chopper. Do you hear a chopper? In the recording, he said this. Uh, We don't have a helicopter up in Glendale, the officer said. Officials with the LA uh, LA Police Protective League, which represents officers, are saying that the recording undercuts Mulligan's versions of his altercation, which is now the subject of a $50 million claim that has been filed with the city which is kind of a precursor to a lawsuit. Mulligan alleged, and this is an incredible story, that officers dragged him to a motel, threatened to kill him if he left, and when, he dis- when they discovered he'd escaped, they beat him so badly that he dis- uh, suffered 15 fractures to his nose and needed a ton of stitches. Um, this is an incredible guy here who seems to be, he's really living it up. I mean, what a life this guy is involved in. So, uh, so what's going to happen here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's okay. going to happen. It seems really like this guy is completely out of it. But of course, this is all alleged and we have to see when, when the facts come through. Uh, later, uh, I, I just don't even know how, a situ- how do you even get into a situation where you're telling different police in different cities that you're snorting bath salts? Like, how does that even happen? Uh, if you're snorting bath salts. <laughs> That's that, how it happens. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Mulligan said he'd snorted bath salts at least 20 times, but as of the day he talked to the police, he hadn't used any for about two weeks. And then on the recording, he says, how long does this stuff stay in your system, man? How is it legal? I think, it's, I think it's fair to say he's definitely using some type of drugs. At least he didn't need anyone's face, even though, remember, the Miami face eater who was thought to be on bath salts only, marijuana. only had marijuana in his system. Interesting Unless stuff. it was something else that, uh, that we couldn't test for. Very weird story. We're going to keep watching it.